We're going to talk a little bit about what you get on your entry side of the coach. Number one, you've got a power awning. If you look up in the corners here on both front and rear, you've got rain gutter spouts. Those are functional rain gutters, okay? It will help keep that water if it's raining a little farther away from the coach than right where you're walking around. You have uh, aluminum mag wheels, if you will, okay? A couple of things, aesthetically pleasing, a lot nicer to look at than just a plain old steel wheel. But they also help cool the brakes a little bit more. They don't hold heat like the steel wheels do. And you can see how they're slotted and open, so they do get a lot of air travel through there. The other thing, a lot of the competitors that I found don't offer, and that is a second brake and that's on the, the, the tandem axles. Some of them do and some of them don't, but Prowler does. They have brakes on both axles. That's just a safer setup. It's a lot safer for you and your family to be pulling this behind your vehicle. Um, here's another thing. Fresh water fill, if you are gonna fill your tanks and head off to a dry camping zone, that's, that's where you wanna fill those tanks. And power outlets. Now, this particular coach does have uh, you know, capabilities to play the music and what have you out there. So you don't necessarily have to plug a radio, but if you have some kind of a cooking setup, or if you need to charge your phone, or whatever you need to do, you can charge it. Right. As you can see, this is a heavy duty Lippert frame. All right. Now, from there we go right up here. This is a standard for the prowler, and this is just a docking light. So you can put a little light on, you know, unhooking your, uh, your sway system and that when you get to your campsite or hooking it up if that's the case. Next, we're going to go to the pass-through storage. Now, I'd like you to get down in here and take a look if you can. It's a little bright from the sun to the window. You notice this is completely finished off top to bottom. One of the only travel trailer companies in the industry that actually f takes the time to finish even the, the top off. Most of it you just see the boards. That's a really nice thing. Now to, we're at the rear of the coach. This is where you're going to find your satellite connection, your power connection, your outside shower, okay? Now also, if you look underneath here, this is where you're gonna hook up your, your drain pipe and your bl black water and your gray tank, okay? This is also where your city water connection is. So if you're at an RV park, you're hooked up to power, and you don't want to fill up your tanks to use your water, you just hook the hose right to here, it'll go right to your utilities, it will not fill your tanks. Okay, and the last thing on the rear of the coach. Full size spare, very nice to have, easy access, and I'm gonna shut this here so you can, see. the ladder. This is a fully walkable roof, they give you a ladder here so that you can access it. I'd like you to take a look at, now that we've got the awning out, is the LED lighting that they put underneath of it. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, it is considerably brighter than most of your average bulbs. It draws very little power off your batteries, which is good for you on a short trip or a long trip. And it doesn't create any heat. So if you've ever been to your campsite, you got a couple lights on, next thing you know you got bugs flying all over. These don't attract bugs near as bad as your average bulb. So. Now you also have another light just as a backup. Not, not near as uh, bright as the LEDs, but it works great. All right, welcome inside. First couple things I want to show you is the cabinet space. All right, we've got a full wardrobe here on both sides of the bed. You've got cabinetry. You can never have enough storage space, especially in a smaller unit. Also, not a lot of people find this, but it is here. It's held up by two gas charge shocks. Nice access here if you need to hide some firearms, whatever. It is a great storage spot. Okay. Now, you have your large U-shaped dinette. So if you've got company and they are adults, they will fit, two adults will fit comfortably on this once it's made into a bed. Okay. Now, this is something that's new for Prowler. It is also a very popular uh, change. They've done away with the two post setup in this particular unit, and they have this that fold, this particular table folds up like an ironing board. Okay. okay. Are you ready for this? This is one of the largest bathrooms in a 20 foot camper that I've seen on the market. I'd like to show you just how much cabinet space is in here. Can you fit in here? 
There you go. Look how deep the cabinet space is. Now, there's a separate wardrobe if you'd like to hang more clothing up in the back. Another deep compartment there. And the last one under the sink. A easy access to your plumbing, but it also is a good place to, hot, to put you know, toilet paper and what, the, what have you. Now, I'm just going to get in this thing just to show you. And I'm not a tall guy. But at 5'8 and 3 quarters, you can see how much taller guy you can get in here. We have a 6.3 cubic foot refrigerator, freezer. Okay, That is made by Norcold. Very, very, no, very well known in the in the RV industry. You've got a large storage space up here with a nice lip. It's about oh, about an inch, inch and a half. Okay, that's to keep your can goods from sliding out and that kind of thing when you're going down the road around corners. You've got a high point microwave. Makes a cinch making a little popcorn. You've also got a hood, fully functional. You've got a fan and got a deep. 50-50 dual sink leading right into the cat paw countertop. Okay. And the last thing, my favorite part, that's a standard, folks. My name is Rick Beckerley, and I'm with Pierce RV in Billings, Montana. Thank you for taking the time to tour the 2015 Prowler 20 RBS. Have a great day.